Hi kids, welcome back to the story of Tilly, the mysterious picture. Hope you have written the question and answers and send it to your WhatsApp group and you and your class teachers or your English teachers are happy with your activities. Let us revisit the story till our hero is a wanderer, he is a Flemish painter. Uh, one day he came to the court of the Archduke of Battenberg and he came he came to present a picture to the Archduke and he gave the picture to the Archduke and he was very much impressed by the picture and uh, let us find out what happened next the virgin's picture was a splendid painting and the Archduke made up his mind at once. The virgin's picture was a beautiful painting and the Archduke made up his mind. Made up one's mind means decided. Decided his mind. What decision he take? What decision he took? Ah, to make till the court painter. He embraced and kissed him on both cheeks. He embraced till and kissed him on both his cheeks. Cheek means, ah, this is cheek, this is chin. He said, I shall be delighted to make you my court painter. I am very happy to make you my court painter. He directed him to the chair and made him sit on it. Well, my dear fellow, he said, you do have a tongue in your head and you certainly seem to know how to use it. You are a very talkative fellow, aren't you? He directed till to the seat of the court painter and he said, you are a very intelligent fellow. You have a tongue in your head and you know how to use it. Tongue in your head means you are a wise person. You are an intelligent person and you know how to talk it, how to use it. And you are a talkative fellow also. Your Highness, may it please you to remember me and my donkey Jeff for just one more minute until continued. Uh, Your Highness, I want to remind you about my donkey. What is his name? Jeff. Till replied, my donkey has been feeding himself fairly well all along the way on the thorns in the hedges and the grass on the roadside. When we were coming to this palace, my uh, donkey was feeding uh, all kinds of grass and uh, bushes. And hedges means bushes, small plants. But I have had nothing to eat for the past three days. But unfortunately, I am, I am starving. I am hungry. I have had nothing to eat on the, uh, for the last three days. My stomach has been complaining very loudly. And my stomach is complaining to give me food, give me food. Likewise, my stomach is complaining. Perhaps your highness can even hear it now. If you listen, you can hear the complaint of my stomach. I have been feeding myself with dreams of good food and drink at your royal table. Ha, the, the till is playing another trick. What is he saying? I have been feeding myself with dreams of good food and drink at your royal table. And I, I was feeding with the dreams of eating uh, good food and good drink from your palace. That was my dream. That was uh, my dream. The Archduke smiled and said, Well, my dear fellow, you will certainly have something more solid than dreams to feed on. But where is your donkey? But Archduke smiled. Why the Archduke smiled? Because Archduke now knew that this is a trick by Till. Ah, he said, don't worry my dear fellow, I will give you something more solid than dreams to feed on. And dreams are not real, it is just an imagination, a hallucination. But I will give you something solid, solid means uh, that can be seen and touched. But I will give you the real food. And But where is your donkey? I left him outside. 
opposite the palace. I shall be more grateful if Jeff is looked after. He needs a little fodder and lodging at night. Said him. I left my friend, my donkey outside, Jeff outside. And I'm, I will be very happy if you give him some fodder, some animal food and a shelter. The Archduke immediately ordered the donkey to be taken care of. And he added, treat it like one of my own animals. And at once the Archduke ordered, Aravade, uh, take care of Jeff, his donkey, and treat Jeff as one of my own animals. Before long, supper was served and it was like a wedding feast. And uh, soon, supper was served. Supper and then, Atthaya. Rathriyal Kajikinna food. You might have heard of Last Supper. It's a painting, world famous painting by Leonardo Da Vinci. And the Last Supper, it's a picture of Jesus Christ with his disciples. You have seen that picture. Uh, so, it's a failed, world famous picture by Leonardo Da Vinci. That is a supper. So, here also, uh, till was served with uh, supper and it was like a wedding feast. The tables were loaded with every kind of food and drink. Tables were loaded with all kinds of food and drink. Wine flowed like water. The courtiers stuffed themselves with the choicest dishes. All the courtiers, they stuffed themselves. Stuffed means kutti uh, narakiga. Stuffed themselves with the choicest dishes. With all kinds of dishes. The Archduke made till eat and drink until his stomach was about to burst. The Archduke himself uh, uh, served till. He was uh, serving till. Come on, eat, my dear fellow, eat. Until his, his stomach is about to burst. The Archduke too ate heartily. The Archduke was also eating. His face was flushed with drink. His face was, he took a lot of wine and his face was flushed with drink. But he seemed lost in thought. But suddenly the Archduke seemed lost in thought. He suddenly looked up and said loudly. Suddenly he looked up and said loudly, our court painter must paint our portrait so that we will have the satisfaction of leaving our memory to our descendants. Suddenly he got up and said, our court painter should draw our portrait. So who is our court painter now? Till. So Till should draw our portrait. Why? So that we will have the satisfaction of leaving our memory to our descendants. So that uh, we will uh, have the satisfaction of giving our memory or leaving our memory to our descendants. Descendants, then verum talamuraka, in the verum pin talamuraka, kana, in a kurcharyanola, or orma chitra maeta, in the nilanelko. We too have to take our place in history along with our noble ancestors whose portraits adorn these walls. And the, uh, the walls of the palace is adorned, decorated. With the ans with my ancestors, with the pictures of my ancestors. Ancestor and a poor vigor. In the poor vigor, the chitrangal konde, e kotaram alangari kapitrikum. Adubole, in the chitraum, out of arakanam. So that my descendants can uh, have a memory about myself. It is sad to think of death. We do not know when God will think fit to summon us. And the uh, Archduke is saying a philosophy that every man should die one day. Everyone should die one day. And it is very sad to think of death. And it is a very sad condition also. We do not know when God will summon us. God will call us. But our portrait should be painted. So, anyhow, we have to paint our portrait. Till quickly replied. Why Till replied? Because he is the new court painter. Your lordship's slightest wish is to me command. Your lordship's the slightest, the least wish for me, it is my, it is a command. 
all the same i do feel rather unhappy about painting your lordship all by yourself thangalde oru cheri aagraham polum enne sambandhichu oru aagnyayana pakshe all the same i do feel rather unhappy about painting your lordship all by yourself but i am i don't feel it good to paint uh, your uh, lordship alone by yourself thangale ottaki varakkunnadinodu enikku viyojip undu your lordship uh, it is it uh, not terrible to think of your lordship being lonely for ever and ever if i draw your picture uh, alone it is a terrible condition that you have to stay in on the wall alone forever and ever ini veruna ella kaalum thangal otte kavadi irikanam thangalukku parichay ullavar aaru illa is it terrible is it a terrible condition don't you think ladies and gentlemen that his highness should be accompanied at least by her highness her ladies the noble generals and captains who are on this court and then he is asking uh, the the person who are gathered there don't you think ladies and gentlemen don't you think ladies and gentlemen that his highness should be accompanied by at least by, uh, by her highness adeyatha varaikumba adeyathinte ഹെർ ഹൈനസ് ക്യൂവിൻ്റെ പടമെങ്കിലും അവിടെ ഉണ്ടാവണ്ടേ അതോടൊപ്പം ഹെർ ലേഡീസ് ഹെർ ഹൈനസിൻ്റെ ദാസിമാർ ലേഡീസ് ദ നോബിൾ ജനറൽസ് ദ നോബിൾ ജനറൽസ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് പാലസ് ആൻഡ് ദ ക്യാപ്റ്റൻസ് ഹു അഡോൺ ദിസ് കോട്ട് അപ്പം ഇവരെയൊക്കെ വരച്ചെങ്കിലല്ലേ നമ്മുടെ ഒരു ചിത്രം പൂർണ്ണമാവൂ എ കോട്ട് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഹാസ് ഫ്യൂ റൈവൽസ് ഇൻ സ്പ്ലൻഡർ ലൗലിനസ് ആൻഡ് ഷിവൽറി ഇൻ ദ മിഡ്സ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സച്ച് വാലർ ആൻഡ് ബ്യൂട്ടി i will make my lord and lady shine forth like the moon surrounded by landers and in this court there are people with valor valor means the uh, brave courageous people are there beautiful personalities are there the ladies are very beautiful uh, in the midst of such valor and beauty i will make my lord and lady shine forth like the moon surrounded by landers in the midst of all the people this court is uh, filled with people who are courageous means uh, what is valor and beauty valor means courageous people are here beautiful ladies are here and i will draw all the pictures all their pictures and in the midst of all these beautiful and courageous people i will draw the picture of the archduke and her highness or the uh, queen and after Uh, when the picture is completed they will look like moon surrounded by landers the, the overall picture will look like moon who are the moons the archduke and his wife they were like moons and landers what is landen asha arandal vilakku appo randal vilakku mattullavarakka randal vilakku pole adinte idayil randal vilakkin idayil chandra netra mathram prakashikunnu appo adu pole vyathyasthamayitta allengil nalla oru chitram aayirikkum and would have worked in that the archduke thought that it was a good idea and the archduke was also impressed by till's idea well my friend your painting will be a great piece of art what reward do you expect for it so it will be a very uh, piece of art great piece of art what should i give you as a reward a hundred pieces of gold you can pay me now or later just as you please so till said i need a hundred piece of gold you can give it uh, the reward now or later angane oru aalu parayumbo thirichayittu engane irikka namukku kodukkunnathu appol thanne and here are the 100 pieces of gold in advance said the archduke give him the gold and appol uh, thanne he gave 100 100 pieces of gold in advance my lord you are the most generous of masters you have filled my lamp with oil it will forever burn in your honor for oh, my lord you are such a generous master and you filled my lamp my uh, life uh, of lamp with oil ende jeevithamaguna velakkine thangal enna yelichu prakasham kathichu and it will forever burn in your honor and for the rest of my life i will be uh, it, uh, it will burn in your honor thangalde vishwasthanaya sevaganai ഞാൻ എന്നും ഉണ്ടാകും ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഡേ ടിൽ ആസ് ദ ആർച്ച് ഡ്യൂക്ക് ടു അലോ ഹിം ടു സി ഓൾ ദ കോർട്ടേഴ്സ് 
who were to be painted along with him. Next day, Till asked the Archduke uh, to uh, allow him to see all the courtiers who were to be painted along with him. They came and saw him one by one. And they came and saw Till. The first to come was the commander in chief of the army. Was the first to come? The commander in chief of the army. He was a short, fat, bald man with an enormous pouch. The commander in chief. Commander in chief. A tall, well built, six pack of a short, fat, bald. Bald means Kashandi. With enormous pounds. Enormous pounds means value. He whispered in Till's ear, When you paint my picture, remember you are to make me look handsome. And he came and whispered, whispered, uh, tell secretly in the ears of Till, When you paint my picture, remember you are to make me look handsome. If you do not make my stomach look flat, I will hang, I will have you hanged. You have to make me handsome and you have to uh, draw the picture of my stomach look flat. And six pack I will hang you. Remember, I was once a very handsome soldier. Once upon a time, I was very, very beautiful like a film star. An elderly lady came next. Commander in Chief. Who came next? An elderly lady, an old woman. She had a large hump on her back. She had a large hump. Sir Painter, she said softly, make me look young and beautiful. If you don't remove the hump on my back and supply what I lack in beauty, I will have you torn to pieces. You have to remove the hump on my back and supply what I lack in beauty. You have to supply it. 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 If you disobey me, uh, if you don't remove the hump on my back and supply what I lack in beauty, I will have you torn to pieces. I will torn you. A young lady who was the companion of the Duchess came in as soon as the old lady left. When the old lady left, Another young lady, she is the companion of the Duchess. She came. She was young and pretty, but had lost three of her front teeth in an accident. She was very beautiful, but uh, she lost her three uh, front teeth in an accident. She warned till that if in her picture she didn't see herself smiling with a perfect set of pearly teeth, she would have him cut into small bits by her lover. And she said to, she warned. She threatened till that you have to pain me smiling. You have to paint three perfect set of pearly teeth. I will torn you, cut into small bits by her lover, by my lover. My lover will kill you. And she pointed to the captain of the gods. So who is her lover? Captain of the gods. Do you know? Do you remember captain of the gods? Ah, in the beginning, uh, the captain of the gods was playing, was playing football, cricket, chess. Very good. Similar requests and threats continued until he had finished with the last of the courtiers. And all the courtiers came one by one. Samu hi agalam parichu kondu oror thara oror thara aittu vannu avar ellavarum either they requested him or threatened him then the archduke sent for him and said my dear fellow i want your portrait to be perfect in every detail then the archduke uh, sent for him and he said dear till you can draw the picture 
but one one condition it should be perfect in every detail you are to paint all my courtiers exactly as we see them if you leave out a mole a pimple or a small gray hair i will have you slaughtered like a pig he is also threatening what is he saying if you leave out a single mole mole means marg oru marg polum kalayan paadilla marg undakku adum varakana a single pimple what is pimple mukhakuru mukhakuru undengil adum varakana a single gray hair even the least minute thing you should draw in the in your portrait otherwise i will have you slaughtered like a pig i will have you butchered slaughtered kill you or cut into piece like a pig till kooli thought things over and said to himself but till was cool and he thought to himself said to himself if i paint this picture i shall certainly be killed if i paint this picture i shall certainly be killed either the archduke will have me slaughtered like a pig for having disobeyed him or the courtiers will have me murdered for painting them as they really are either the, the archduke will kill me for disobeying him adheham paranjathu oru naracha mudi polum maatan paadilla courtiers paranja endana അപ്പാടെ മാറ്റി പുതിയ നല്ല രൂപത്തിൽ വരയ്ക്കണം എന്ത് ചെയ്താലും ഒന്നുകിൽ ദ ആർച്ച് ഡ്യൂക്ക് വിൽ കിൽ മീ അതർവൈസ് ദ കോട്ടിയസ് വിൽ കിൽ മീ ഇൻ ഐദർ കേസ് ഐ ആം ടു ഡൈ വാട്ട് ആം ഐ ടു ഡു ഇൻ ഐദർ കേസ് ഇഫ് ഐ ഡ്രോ ദിസ് പിക്ചർ ഐ ആം ടു ഡൈ വാട്ട് ഷുഡ് ഐ ഡു വാട്ട് ആം ഐ ടു ഡു പെർ ഹാവ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈസർ നോട്ട് ടു പെയിൻ ദിസ് പിക്ചർ അറ്റ് ഓൾ so he came to a conclusion what is it not to paint this picture that is the wise decision it would be wise uh, it is uh, perhaps it is wiser not to paint this picture at all so dear kids hope you enjoyed this story go through the questions there write down the answers send it in your whatsapp group uh, the latter part we will deal it in the next Uh, session stay home stay safe this is your krishnomaster signing out thank you